Sarah Badwe here from Horse Racing Nation with another episode of the weekly Outrun the Odds video segment where I talk about horses that I think have a chance to outrun the odds and hit the board or possibly even win at a price off their morning line odds. And I just want to say thank you as always for liking this video, subscribing to the Horse Racing Nation YouTube channel, and turning notifications on so you don't miss any of our future video handicapping content. We do have some previews this week for the fairgrounds meet that it's going to be starting up. Ed DeRosa and Kevin Kilroy will walk you through that with some important stats on the trainers, jockeys, shippers, and we'll also be featuring our debut of the day on the fairgrounds racing feed. So definitely want to be tuning into that. And I'm going to help you start the weekend early with a Friday play here at Aqueduct. And I'm going to be looking at race number nine, which is a state bred allowance race for fillies and mares sprinting on the dirt at six furlongs. I'm looking to the two Liberty Flame to outrun the odds in here off her 10 to 1 morning line. This is a horse that exits the same race as Can't Hurry Love and Fancy Feline, and she was the number seven horse in there. As you can see, she's the one pressing the pace to the outside, while the eventual winner of that race, number one Funny How, is saving ground right in behind those front runners. This horse gets herself on even terms with Can't Hurry Love and seems to want to stay out a little bit, getting those taps on the outside shoulder to encourage her to continue forwards around the turn. And she does end up being the only one that was involved in that early pace to continue on, eventually finishing third as Fancy Feline ran on late for second. So if you want someone out of that race, I think it's Liberty Flame. And that was also her first start off a of brief freshening. And trainer Patrick Quick is 21% second off 45 to 180 day layoffs. If you toss the turf experiment, you go two back in May. She was the number four horse and she steadies right out sharply, giving up significant ground and then going extremely wide on the turn. And she's just not good enough to overcome such a troubled trip like that. Aside from the number five, Norman Queen, who has layoff questions to answer, I just don't really know how good the other short-priced horses in here are, like the number seven, Rebo's Valentine, or the number nine, Carbon. And then I'm left with horses exiting the same race as Liberty Flame, who I don't like, some questionable shippers, or the horse that snagged a pick six away from me by a nose in the number eight, Bunty Windermere, who is switching surfaces and stepping up from maiden 40 to this level. So I'll be giving the number two Liberty Flame a shot in this spot at a price. Moving on to Saturday, we'll stay at Aqueduct for the Gio Ponte Stakes, which goes off as race number seven. This is for the three-year-olds going a mile and a 16th on the turf. And if you know me at all from following me on Twitter, you'll not be surprised in the slightest that I picked the number four, 02035, who's 15 to one on the morning line as a horse that I want to highlight in this spot. I did have the pleasure of meeting him over the summer at Saratoga, and his connections are just some of the sweetest people that I've met in racing so far. So I'm always rooting for Jim and Karen's horses, but to get to his actual racing credentials, he did disappoint last time out as the favorite at the Meadowlands, but I don't know that that trip was actually as terrible as it might seem. Breaking from the rail in there, I feel like he was taken out of his game a little bit, being on the lead early alongside the number seven horse, Airspeed Velocity. And I don't blame Eric at all. There was no speed whatsoever. So I don't really know what other choice he had in that spot early on. But as you can see, 02035 steady slightly going into the turn. And that ends up seriously costing him because it sort of ripples him into this bad trip that he's having now with the door closing on the outside as Kitten Mischief moves up. And then the door closing ahead of him as Airspeed Velocity drops back. And then he just really has no punch once he is clear again. But if he runs either of those two races he ran this summer at Saratoga, he's definitely a player in here. Three back, he was second after stalking the pace closely at 28 to one behind the favorite in Portfolio Company. Then he was second again two starts ago in the Better Talk Now stakes behind the favorite in Wit rallying from last. And I just really like his versatility to adapt to a race that may have some speed from Churchtown and Riot House to his inside, but that could also be a movie that I've seen before where one horse goes and they go slow early. I think the number 402035 has found yet another favorite that he can finish second to in this spot, and I'll be playing the 8-4 exacta in the Gio Ponte stakes. So that is number two, Liberty Flame on Friday, and number four, 02035 on Saturday at Aqueduct for my two horses that I think can outrun the odds this week. Thanks for tuning in and good luck this weekend.